Welcome, this is Amanda with Explorer Systems. Today we're going to take a look at setting up paper passes in Versailles. Paper passes are discounts that are assigned to a patron, printed out, and then redeemed by other people. Paper passes may be assigned to any patron, typically a donor or corporate member company. They are then printed out by the museum and delivered to the company. The company will dispense passes to its employees for use over the next year. Passes may be presented at check-in and scanned slash redeemed on walk-up or advanced sales. Each site controls pass redemption for specific events and categories, depending on how they set up Versailles. Each redeemed pass is marked as redeemed to ensure it is only used once. A few key points about paper passes are, paper passes may be redeemed by anyone, even a walk-up customer if you set it up to allow that. Typically, they would be redeemed by someone other than the patron who has them. Each paper pass is used in a sales line but is also tracked by a specific pass number back to the original pass holder's account. Paper passes are typically added manually in the patron record by a staff person because there is usually no membership associated with them. Paper passes must be set to printed, which would almost always indicate that they really were physically printed out before they may be redeemed in a sale. In sales, you'll see paper passes distinctly from other discounts because paper passes are scanned or inputted by a pass number. In terms of setup, paper passes are very similar to member passes. You may set up as many passes as you like. Examples of paper passes include parking pass, exhibit pass, or IMAX pass. Let's now go over how to set up your paper passes. The first step in setting up paper passes is to create the pass discount. From the events tab, click on the discounts button. You will notice there is a filter choice on the right for member passes and a pass column indicating that a discount is a pass. Push the new button to create a new pass discount. Here you will name your new discount and check pass. Fill in the choices as you normally would. Passes can only be 100% off and will automatically default to reflect that. If you would like more information on how to set up a discount, take a look at the video, How to Set Up Discounts in Versailles. The next step is to enable pass discounts in a specific event. For each event, you will need to allow pass redemption by clicking the box, Allow Passes. Next, we will assign one or more passes to a patron manually. To do this, open the patron record and click on the Passes tab. Press the New button to manually add one or more passes for this patron. You will need to provide a manager code. Select the desired pass, edit the expiration date if needed, and press OK. For printed pass, you'll need to print them. Press Print Passes. Then, from the Print Passes dialog, you may multi-select them or just print one. Notice the pass number is unique for each printed pass. Also notice that they're all marked as U, unprinted slash unredeemed, until you actually print them. You will not be able to redeem a printed pass unless it is marked as P for printed. If needed, you may edit a pass's status to printed in order to redeem it. Finally, let's look at viewing, editing, or deleting passes. You'll notice the discount code and name of each pass assigned. The sales number shows the sale in which a pass was redeemed. Redemption shows the date and time a pass was redeemed in a sale. And if you scroll to the right, you can also see the cashier who created the pass, the date and time each pass was created, and the specific ID of the sales line in which a pass was redeemed. From this grid, you can also edit or remove a pass. To edit a pass, click anywhere on that row in the passes grid and then press edit. You will need to provide a manager code. You may change the type of pass by selecting a different one from the list provided, the expiration date of the pass, and the redemption date or status of the pass. Press OK when you are finished editing. To delete a pass, select it from the Passes grid and then press Delete. You will need to provide a manager code. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for Part 2, How to Use Paper Passes. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for when we upload additional videos. And remember, we're here to help. 
You can reach the Explorer System support team on the support forum of the Versailles website, as well as via email and phone.